cracking down on those who crank it up. Dozens of tickets each week are being issued to motorists who violate the city's noise ordinance by turning up their car stereos. East Alabama correspondent Dave Holland has the story. Kiki Newton's friends call his car a boombox on wheels. I got two can tickets and I got a 400 watt uh, Lanza amp, a little four ton crossover, and a Pioneer City player. Now, this highly audible auto might be the main attraction at a block party, but police who are trying to keep Lynette's streets not only safe but quiet don't seem too impressed. They like to get the, uh, the get the cars booming and everything, and I guess it's pretty cool to draw attention to themselves and everything, but sometimes they draw the wrong attention, which is us. While a system like this will set you back several hundred dollars, the cost of cranking it up will also cost you plenty. He left and ran $100, $125. The noise ordinance has been in the books for almost 10 years now, but police say it's still a big problem. And with summer here, there will no doubt be lots of itchy fingers ignoring the law and turning up the knob. A little more out there. Okay. Fishing is going to be easy this summer. So while cruising with the stereo cranked has been a time-honored teen tradition, police will not say if you plan on cruising through their town, you better think twice before turning it up. <laughs> In Lynette, for the news leader Nightside, I'm Dave Holland. Lynette police have also had recent incidents of teen vandalism and late night watering. They say as the summer heats up, they'll be beating up patrols to keep kids off the streets and out of trouble. The debate over a one cent sale.